Yo, what's up? It's Dynasty back with some more MK1, MK Uno in your life because my buddy, my pal, my friend, Ice Cream FGC has blessed us with essentially every shrine reward in season four. You can see here there is an entire thread breaking down everything you get with using your Mortal Kombat currency at the shrine for this season and it's four different pages which means you know some decent variety here so we'll be breaking that down and also i'll be reacting to john cena's peacemakers second finisher um but i have to watch it in a small screen because youtube hates finishers and i haven't seen it yet i saw a small glimpse of him pulling out a gun but i haven't seen the actual finisher in itself so we'll be breaking that down as well i guess reacting around there but if you guys are enjoying the mortal kombat 1 content i've been pushing out today if you could do me a solid it takes a second drop a like on this video and also go follow and subscribe to i scream fgc who is the go-to for everything mortal kombat because uh saving my ass here ice cream so without further ado let's see everything we can unlock in the shrine for mortal kombat 1 because i haven't even played the game today i've just been so busy pumping out content haven't used peacemaker yet but hopefully pretty soon i can get my hands on the john cena first things first you get this melina skin dubbed clawing and scratching which honestly is more in the vein of a Melina season than the actual season four skins. It's purple. This might be one of the only purple skins we get in this season. This might be my favorite one for Melina, honestly. I was digging the hair the first time we actually went over the season four skins in my last video, but with the purple and the blue, I honestly think this is pretty cool. So I like this. I like this skin. Moving on to Natara's skin, the Bloodseeker, which, uh, I wish she had the Tarkat skin or the Havoc skin because this was a season dedicated to Havoc. Yeah, we gotta talk about that eventually. We got the Kenshi skin dubbed Cut Above, um, looking like Ninja with the blue green hair. Then we have this Garrus skin dubbed The Quest for History. I do like this color scheme, the black and yellow. Shout out to Pittsburgh. Uh, I really do like this. This is really sick. Then we get the Nosferatu. Natara palette for her season three boss skin, the purple costume, which again, I'm a fan of this color scheme, purple and gray. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm glad it's essentially free if you just simply play the game. Reiko gets this uh, teal, purple and black skin, which isn't that shabby. Then you get some combat cards for Peacemaker. Here he is. I guess he's uh, Hulk Hogan in this game as well. Then we get Kung Lao's Swaggering Searcher skin, uh, which is kind of funny because this is not swaggy at all. I mentioned on Twitter it looks like a fruit roll-up this entire season, and I, I'm sticking to it. I think all these skins are quite literally fruit roll-up skins. And speaking of fruit roll-up skins, here's a fruit roll-up skin for Sub-Zero dubbed... Gelid Seeker? What the hell does that mean? Is this... What, in the comments, can you explain this to me? I've what the fuck, dude. Then we have the points of light Raiden palette. Uh, again, I'll never be a hater for teal and black. I like that color scheme. The same can be said for the blazed seeker scorpion palette. Um, not too shabby. I, I really do like these palette color options, purple and black, which honestly should have been the theme for this entire season. Not a fruit roll up. I don't know what they were thinking or what they were doing, but. A little bit too late now to fix that. Then we get the unsettling, uh, uh, I can't even pronounce this, for Havoc. Uh, again, fruit roll-up skin. Another fruit roll-up skin for Tanya, dubbed Finding Security. Then Shangi Wangi gets the Connoisseur of Flesh, yet his skin is not flesh pitted out. Cold-Blooded Pursuit for Reptile. Why has he got a white mask and then everything else is yellow and blue and then uh, fucking hell, man. All right. I don't know. I'm, none of this shit makes any sense to me at this point. Then we get the Heaven Sent Ashra. I mentioned in my last video that this fruit roll-up color scheme kind of works with Ashra because she's always kind of had gold and white. So at least the gold's there, which is in line for the character. Future Glory for Kung Lao. And this is also a story mode skin. So I, I like the palettes. I like the purple, gray, and black. I love it. 
Then we get the purple and, and teal skin here dubbed the Hallowed Protector for Liu Kang. I'm not sure if I like it, but uh, it's free at least. Then the Questing Sister Katana skin. Again, it's a fruit roll-up skin. Some of you guys like it, some of you don't. Uh, I don't know, man. It's making my teeth hurt. Then we get the Stalking Empress Sindel skin, which is all over the place. We got teal, blue, purple, gray, yellow. It's doesn't make any sense. Uh, the status seeker for Rain, which also didn't get a classic skin, which is kind of lame, you know, the trilogy throwback skin. Why didn't he get one? I don't know. Uh, Stealthy Quester for Smoke. That one's not too shabby. And then again, you get your Fruit Roll-Up skin for Lee May. Lastly, finishing things off, we have the uh, Batman Henchman Johnny Cage That's Entertainment skin, which looks abysmal. They said this was like in the same vein of like a uh, David Bowie. I, I guess I can kind of see it, but I don't know, man. Finding a Cure Baraka skin. This one's not too shabby. I like this one. Um, and then we get these combat card backgrounds again for Peacemaker. Eagly, and then a bunch of bullets making the peace symbol. While we're here, we also got the full rundown on how exactly Peacemaker made it into the Mortal Kombat universe. Christopher Smith, the Peacemaker, cherishes peace with all his heart, so much so that he will kill anyone and everyone necessary to get it. That is why he molded himself into an unstoppable soldier. Peacemaker believes himself as the greatest expert in weapons and warfare, but Peacemaker's heroism masks a troubled soul. Raised by an abusive father, Peacemaker is an extreme loner. Only recently, as a member of secret team assembled by Argus for Project Butterfly, has he learned to trust and rely on others. They became the family he never had. Uh, it's just the bio for the character. It really doesn't explain how he ended up here, but... Um, there you go, that's that's Peacemaker's bio and MK Uno. And it's... now it's time for me to definitely not be reacting to any type of finisher in Mortal Kombat 1. I gotta do it in the small little box here. It worked for the holiday finishers. Let's see if it works here. Guess if you're seeing it, that means it did. Okay. What the fuck? I I Okay! Oh, I saw a screenshot of this. <laughs> I did not expect him to have bad aim and be trying to shoot this bug guy, but you know, what? I guess Little it shit. works. John Cena's commentary Fatality. is great. Um, Peacemaker wins. Flawless I've never victory. seen the show, so I really don't have any idea why there's a bug coming out of your opponent. Maybe if the bug was, I don't know, lands on the opponent. That would make sense. It just kind of appears in their mouth, which is a little weird, but uh, nonetheless, I guess that's a cool fatality. There's my reaction. Uh, is it a reference to the show that I haven't seen? Maybe, but I haven't seen it, so I wouldn't know. Again, a massive shout out to Ice Cream FGC for giving us the rundown on everything you can get in the shrine. If you do not follow Ice Cream, do me a solid and go follow Ice Cream. And I ask you guys the question, what do you think of everything we're getting in the shrine for this season, season four of Invasions? Are you content with the skins? Do you like Peacemaker's second finisher? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, though, do me a solid. Take a second to like, out of course, subscribe for some more MK content like this on the channel. The next time, be your husband, Dynasty. Please take care, stay safe. I love you. See you in the next video. Peace. Hey guys, hey guys,